Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I wanted to talk to you about the dingo, which is perhaps the best known animal from Australia that's not a marsupial, is technically not a dog, but a species of wild dog, and is unfairly characterized as stealing babies. That's not the dingo we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about the dingo from Black Ops 3, which is the only unlockable light machine gun in the beta. Funny thing about this gameplay, I was trying to walk out into this good lighting so I could take snapshots for thumbnails, but these guys just kept walking onto the B flag, so I decided to keep hosing them with my dingo LMG. The Dingo is, if anything, a very consistent weapon. It's four shots to kill up close and four shots to kill at almost every range that I've ever used it at. Maybe at extremely long ranges it might be five shots to kill, but as far as I can tell it's four shots everywhere and it is very, very consistent. Four shots to kill up close is definitely not ideal. You're going to get outgunned by SMGs, you're going to get hosed by shotguns, but it's very, very good at long ranges. Light machine guns unfortunately aren't very popular in Black Ops 3 and the Dingo is no exception. People like to look at it because it looks cool with the color scheme and the cylindrical magazine and all of that, but they're just weaknesses to using an LMG in a game like this. It slows you down a lot. You can't, when you aim down sights, you can't sidestep very much. If you aim down sights with this while wall running, you're going to fall off the wall very, very quickly. And in a fast paced game, slow paced weapons aren't very popular. I'm going to take a cut from the normal streak that I was on and show you this one because there is something that the Dingo is very good at, and that's destroying airstreaks. I'm going to come over here and try and capture the A flag, and I'm going to get cut down by an enemy wraith pretty shortly, which is very annoying to me and I might not have missiles or black hats or anything like that. However, if you have a light machine gun, especially the dingo, you can just point it in the air and just hose this wraith. Even when it goes invisible, it's not really well hidden. It's just kind of like shooting down helicopters in Black Ops 3, or not Black Ops 2, I almost misspoke, which is a very easy tactic. It's a very easy tactic and it works very, very well here. That is when they don't go and hide behind a rocks and be annoying. And you can save your teammates a lot of headache and and you don't have to waste any extra points on black hats or launchers or anything like that. You can just cut it down with your LMG. I use the LMGs to cut down stuff in Black Ops 2 all the time. So again, very, very good tactic. However, there's some other things that the Dingo is good at that you know aren't inherently obvious. If you don't like fast-paced games, if you don't like wall running and boosting and thrusting, if that's not your thing and you prefer what we'll call a tactical shooter, a slow-paced one, a more realistic, or uh, maybe to the rushers, we'll call it a campy shooter, it's very, very good at playing conservative. If you want to sit back and actually tactically hold positions and watch corridors, as well it should be because it's a light machine gun, it does that very, very well. If you want to play old school Call of Duty and just kind of post up on ledges and sit in, you know, choke points, this gun will shred people. It's very easy to get collaterals with because like all LMGs, it has higher penetration. You can wall bang people. Black Ops 3 has pretty much paper walls to begin with, so you can just chew through walls. I really haven't found a need to put FMJ on it because it, it just yeah, it doesn't need it at all. I can just wall bang like mad with no consequences whatsoever. I'm gonna show off this nice hellstorm here before we transition back to the regular gameplay. I like this. It's just it's fun for me. <laughs> just murdering people on their spawn, that's probably a little bit strong. The fire rate isn't too bad either. It's not a, exactly a fast firing gun like the Vesper or anything, but it's pretty considerable for a light machine gun. It will put some lead downstream. Unfortunately, the fire rate doesn't compete with very many of the submachine guns in the game or some of the higher end assault rifles like the <clears throat> M8, M1 <clears throat> hose weapon that everybody uh, uses all the time. So you're not going to beat assault rifles or SMGs up close. Then again, you aren't really meant to. It did feel kind of funny though when I would barrel stuff people with my LMG and they wouldn't die. That definitely felt off because I was able to do that in other Call of Duty games. Recoil's manageable. It's certainly not good or amazing or great. Uh, you can just you know, hose and pull it down and keep it mostly on track. A lot better with a foregrip. I initially really hated this weapon. I really didn't like it. I had a very bad time recording until I figured out I just need to play more campy. And once I played more campy and sat back, things got a lot better for me. Less rushing. Had to change up my play style. Less kind of like crazy stuff that I'd, I always try to wall run. But if I just decided to sit back and try and pick off snipers and just sit there like a big chode or a toad on a log, worked pretty dadgum well. The weapon does have ammo capacity issues though. 60 rounds in the magazine isn't very many. You, you'll have to reload more quickly than you would like to with an LMG. Thankfully the reload's not too bad and it does require a lot of attachments to be good. The optics are really really beneficial. Uh, the stock is tremendously beneficial on light machine guns in this game. I just about couldn't use this weapon without stock. Foregrip is very helpful. Quick draw grip also very helpful. A lot of I would say helpful attachments that push it more toward crutch range. 
you need to run a lot of primary gunfighter in order to make this weapon work. And I still personally didn't like it a whole lot even after running all of this stuff. It, but I think it's going to fit some people's playstyle. If you really don't like to rush and you really do like to sit back, the dingo is going to work fine for you. By the way, I just I really wanted to show off this talent spree. I'm not going to be showing off any more dingo gameplay. But this talent, if you don't let the AI control it, if you take over it, this is a god tier kill streak. This is almost as effective as getting a wraith or something. You can just you can wreck people with this thing. It's so incredibly good and powerful. That's why I started running it. I don't even run anything. I don't need anything else other than the Talon. The Talon is so incredibly good. Guys, that's all for this commentary. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out. Postage.